Sue asks, why does Private Relay go on and off? Private Relay is a feature by Apple to try and make us anonymous on the internet again. Again, probably for the first time because we've never really been anonymous on the internet. But think of it like if you're reading a newspaper, the company that published the newspaper, they have no idea what articles you are reading, what ads you are looking at. You are free to peruse that uh, newspaper or magazine without worrying that you're being tracked. So what Apple has done now is that they want to give us that anonymity when we are browsing, say the news or browsing any website on our devices. So they have created what's called private relay. And this private relay is under your settings. It's under your name. And then it's under iCloud. And then we have Private Relay. Now, you have to be paying at least in Australia $1.49. UK is at 79p, 69p. I can't remember, it's 79p, I think it is. Uh, Canada's $1.29. You've got to be paying for iCloud to have the relay work for you. Private Relay hides your IP address to keep your browsing activity in Safari private, encrypted, so that no one, including Apple, can see what you are doing and who you are and what the websites you're visiting. But there are some apps that need that private relay turned off. Like your bank needs to know who you are. You want to do a financial transaction, we need to see your IP address. We're not going to work if we can't identify who you are. Also, if you switch on a VPN is a competitor to private relay. So think of Apple's private relay as one of those tunnels keeping you private, but a, a full-blown VPN is also just a tunnel keeping you private. You can't run both at the same time. So if you turn on, say, NordVPN or ExpressVPN, then the relay won't work either. So I don't expect this behavior to change in the near future. I do think that you're going to see that private relay switching on and off, and just be aware of the websites you're visiting when that does happen, but that's why that's happening soon. I hope that makes sense to you.